Hello friends, welcome back to another solution video. In this video, I will be providing you the solution of our love beyond query second last lab solution which is going to be prepare data for looker dashboard and reports challenge lab. Again, I am starting from the bottom most niche se sa lab solution start kar raha because niche ki lab zyada tough ya hard hai isliye logo problem ho rahe. That's why I am starting from the bottom most okay. So I already uploaded the solution of the last one that you can access from this playlist. The link would be in the description box. Now without wasting time open this lab. Again this would be a little lengthy lab. Ye lab ka solution thoda lengthy hai jayega kyunki isme kafi sare mein manual task karne hai. Okay, that's why it's going to be lengthy one. Just simply follow me and your lab would be finished. Click on the start lab button, wait for the credentials to be loaded up. Uh, after that, we need to first of all copy the username, okay? Copy the username, then right click upon open looker and open it in the computer window. In computer window, may open karna hai. Wait for it to be loaded. Now paste the username that you just copied. We will use the username as the email. Then come back to here, copy the password. Paste the password, click on login. And you get logged into the looker console. Wait for it to get loaded. Once the dashboard get loaded, we have to uh, click on the explore button. So click on explore. Loading right now. Then we have to select airports from here. Select airports. Let the data be loaded. Now carefully from the left panel, we have to select certain uh, filters. So first of all, click on the city. Then scroll down and select the state. Scroll down and select the state. After that, we have to select the account. Then scroll up a little bit. Search for the facility type and click on this filter icon, filter by field. Click on this icon. Now click on the visualization. Uh, before that, we need to click on the search bar and in the caps lock, okay, in the capital, we have to select heliport, type heliport. You will see this, click on this. Uh, then we need to click on the visualization, then click on the table, okay. After that, you need to come back to your lab, scroll down to the task number one, scroll down a little bit down and here you will see that there would be a number given to you in my case it's top 10 in your case it can be in top 9 or top 8 it's like this in, uh, so you have to note down that particular number in my case it's 10 so i will use this number 10 okay come back to here and uh, click on the row limit remove the previous row limit and paste the new row limit jo bhi aapke, uh, lab mein given thi na, i will be using that particular number in my case it's 10 so i will select 10 after that we need to click on airport filter count this one airport count we need to click on this uh, arrow button and it will sort the data okay then we will click on the run button and it will start to load the data according to the filters that we applied. Now click on the gear icon, click on save, click on as a look. And for the title, we need to come back to the lab and copy this whole title. And copy it very, very carefully, make sure you don't copy any extra full stop. You'll end me a full stop, so you don't copy it. Only copy the title, paste it here and click on the save button. Now, from the navigation bar, click on airports again. Yes, we will again select the airports tab. So click on this, it will refresh the whole slide. So this time we will be working on the state and the count. So from the left panel, we will this time select the state and the count. Okay. Then from the visualization tab, select the table. Then uh, again come back to the left panel, scroll up, and for the facility type, this time we will click on the pivot table button. Click on pivot data. Okay. We will click on this button. Then now again we will select the row limit. So let's again come back to the lab to check what's the current row limit. So scroll down to the task number uh, sub task two. And here it's given 10 to us, so we will select 10. In your case, it would be something different, so you have to select that particular limit. So I will select 10. And after that, for the facility type, this time I will apply the filter for the facility type. So click on this. Again, click on this till you see the arrow to the left. Once you see the arrow like this, you can click on the run button. Once the data gets loaded according to the filters, we will save it. So wait for it to get loaded. Click on gear icon again, click on save, click on as a look. For the title, again, we will come back to the lab. And copy this whole title. Copy it very carefully. Make sure you don't copy any extra full stop. Come back to your paste it here. Click on save button. Now we are done with this. Now we will move to the third sub look. Percentage insert. Okay. So come back to here. Now from here, click on this navigation bar. And this time we will select the flights. Select the flights tab. Now from the left panel, we will select aircraft origin. And from here, we need to select the city and the state. These two filters would be applied. Then from the flight details, uh, for that we have to scroll a little bit down. Yes, from the flight details, last one here, scroll down. From the flight details, we have to select cancelled count. Okay, we have to select the cancelled count. So for search for that, here it is. Click on cancelled count. After that, you need to go to the flight column. So select this flight one. And from here, we need to apply a filter for the count. So click on this filter uh, tab uh, beside the count, filter by field. Okay, click on this. Now from is equals to, we have to select is greater than. Okay, we have to select is greater than. And the value would be 10,000. 10,000, okay, select it. And we have to click on this plus icon for the 
see here custom fields click on this add button and we have to select on that table calculation now we have to give some expression here for that we need to go to the lab and go to the description of the video in the description or you can simply from the lab itself you don't need to go to the description right now uh, though i create a particular github file for all the commands but uh, you can also access this from the lab so if, if you want you can access the command from the github code that will in, uh, be leave in the description box is calling description box otherwise you can also access this uh, details from the lab itself so you need to simply copy this command come back to here paste it in the expression step for the name we need the name so for the name you have to come back to the github file okay and you have to select this percentage of the flights cancelled and paste it here remove the old name paste it here and for the format uh, let's check what would be the format format would be the uh, percent and the decimals would be three value then click on the save button okay it will save the details after that you need to click on this percentage of flights cancel you need to click on the zero button once it gets sorted we need to click on the gear icon of cancelled count and select as hide from visualization same for the original uh, let me check if i'm doing it the right thing is we are doing the right thing just one uh, thing is missing there that is from the left panel under the flights column under the flights column we are not selected the count tab so we need to click on this count also and uh, the, for, again for the flights count we need to click on the gear icon and select the height from visualization both for both flight details cancel count and for the flights count for both you will select the gear icon and you will select the height visualization okay now select the visualization and click on the table after that we will simply run it wait for the data to be loaded Once it's get loaded, we will click on the gear icon, click on save, click on save as a look. For the title, we have to go back to the GitHub file. After GitHub file, you have title key and you have to select this one. Oh, state and cities with the highest percentage of the cancellation flight over 10,000. Select this, come back to your paste in the title and click on the save button. After that, we will click on this navigation icon and click on the flights again. It will reload the data or reset the data set. Now, once the data set get loaded from the left panels under the flight section, you have to select the origin and destination. I scroll up to the very top and you click on the add button and select custom measures for the name of the field measure or the type of the field measure we have to come back to the github file and select the first one average distance only copy this one average distance copy it come back to here paste it here and you will select the average distance for the name again you will come back to here the github file copy the last uh, the average distance mile code come back to here paste remove this name and paste the new name and for the select the field let's see what would be the field If we don't need to select any field just simply click on the save button okay yes after that we need to make some sorting for that first of all we will come back uh, click on the save button then have to over upon this average miles yes click on the uh, first of all scroll down a little bit click on this gear icon from the gear icon we need to select on the filter it will give us the value is equal to so we have to uh, change this to is greater than and click on the set here the zero limit okay and we have to uh, click on average distance uh, mile arrows click on this make sure you will again click on this till this arrow would be facing upward jab ye arrow upar face karne lage uske baad aapko is pe click nahi karna hai okay now you have to select the row limit so row limit would be 10 in my case it's 10 in your, your case it can be different so we will come back to the lab scroll down a little bit in the task number 4 and from here okay it's 7 in my case sorry it was 7 in my case in your case it could be different so copy it from here and paste it here after that we will simply run this and click on the visualization for the table set the visualization as a table wait for the data to be loaded then click on the gear icon click on save click on as a look for the title name we will again come back to the lab and copy the title from here copy it very carefully make sure you don't get copy any extra full stop paste it here click on the save button and now we are done with this task if you scroll down and click on the check my progress you would be done with the task number one because we get the green tick here so wait for a couple of minutes it may took a little bit time yes we get the green tick it means we successfully completed the task number one and now we will uh, move toward the task number two okay now we will click on the navigation bar and click on the flights button it will again reset the data and this time from the left panel in the aircraft origin we have to select certain uh, columns first would be city then select state then select code okay then scroll down and from the flights we will select the count from the flights we will select the count okay once you are done with these four uh, uh, columns we need to select the row limit and the row limit would be 10 this time after that we will simply click on the run button and wait for the data to get loaded according to the filters we applied so now our data is loaded according to the filters we applied this time we will click on the gear icon and it would be a little bit changed we will click on the merge results okay click on merge results it will open a new uh, dashboard for us wait for a couple of seconds it's taking a little bit time to get loaded yes now from here we will select the airports uh, not the airports sorry would be yes like the airports 
we check if it will be airport or the flight yes it would be airport so select the airport and from the airport you will select the city and then state scroll down select the state and after that you will select the port then uh, close this airports and from airport control tower let me check airports control tower where it goes here it is airports control towers from the control tower we will click on this filter icon after that we will select the is major tab again filter icon then the last filter would be joint use so scroll down here goes the joint use mm -hmm. okay it's already there here it is joint use select on the filter icon for the joint use as well then click on the run button and wait for the query to get run now once the data get loaded click on the save button wait for it to get load now again we will run the uh, data here but before that you click on the visualization button and select the bar chart then click on the run button the lab is getting a little bit more trickier but yes it is what it is then click on gear icon uh, then click on save to dashboard now for the title of the dashboard we have to come back to the github file and you have to select this last one copy it come back to here paste it in the title first of all remove the old name then paste the title okay then we have to uh, save the dashboard title as well so for that we will click on the new dashboard button and it will ask for the dashboard name for the dashboard name we have to come back to lab the dashboard name is given in the lab the task number two is itself uh, here it is copy it copy it very carefully paste it in uh, click on the new dashboard again if it's not visible then paste the name here and click on ok and click on save dashboard save to dashboard now we are done with the task number two we can come back to here click on the check my progress and you will get the green, green tick in the task number two as well wait for a couple of seconds now only the task number three is remaining it would be a very easy just a simple task is there so come back to here now from here you will click on this navigation icon and click on uh, the back button this time we are coming back okay then from here select on the folders navigation and click on my folder it will open a new uh, dashboard for us and from the my folder from here we have to select facility type breakdown click on this and if in first try it's uh, it would it shows like a blank page to you then again click on this back button and again select the facility type breakdown this time the data should be visible to you okay now click on this gear icon click on saves and click on to an existing dashboard okay to an existing dashboard then select this plane and helicopter rental hub data and click on add look to dashboard now click on my folder again we have to uh, repeat this process for all the remaining three okay state and cities top 10 cities and top seven airports click on this then click on gear icon save to an existing dashboard select our existing dashboard plane and helicopter and click on add look to dashboard click on back button and scroll down select top 10 cities with most helicopters or heliports and click on gear icon click on save click on to an existing dashboard and select our dashboard click on to add to look dashboard again click on back icon scroll down and select the last one top seven airports with the smallest heliport then click on gear icon click on save click on to an existing dashboard and plane and helicopter enter up data and add look to dashboard again click on back button now come back to the lab scroll down click on check my progress and you will get the green tick in the task number three as well again lab coffee lend the solution but yes coffee salary is the manual task it's me it's me time that okay so now once you get the green tick for all the three tasks your lab is completed so congratulations now, now you can click on the end lab button click on end lab button once again give the star rating that you want to give click on submit now come back to main page to verify whether we actually get the green tick in the lab or not main page to check if we have the green tick in the lab so scroll down and you will see that we get, we get the green tick beside our lab it means we successfully completed this lab so if you like the video make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you have any query you can ask me in the comment box or on the whatsapp group thank you very much good bye